Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a general pick a pile reading about your sex energy for the new year. So readings are timeless and timestamps are in the pinned comments and decks are in the description box. There's also a link to my link tree so you can find me all over the internet. There's also links to Etsy for this exact reading. I also wanted to say thank you to the new subscribers. It's been so awesome. We're over 300 now. It's really exciting to me. I also wanted to say thank you to those of you who are getting Etsy readings. It's been really cool to connect with you and learn about your relationships. Also, keep leaving comments because I have something really fun coming up in the future where I'm going to be doing different types of videos with the shoutouts. So don't forget to leave a comment on a video. Also, on my channel, we have what is in the box. What's in the box is to help you with your intuition. Intuition is super important on my channel because if I say something, you have to use your discernment to see if it resonates and fits with you. Also, if the camera zooms in on a pile of cards or a specific card, then we'll pull a clarifier with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So today I have the little blue card, the blue gem, and the little red wizard guy. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll get started with the people who chose the blue card. So we have your energy for the new year, what your crush sees your energy as, what you might hear them say, and then two cards that provide some tarot insight into your situation. Let's move these up just a little bit more. All right, so your energy is passion. Passion is exciting when you share it with someone who you connect with. So you're really experiencing the energetic feeling of passion and you're vibrating at that. So you're probably seeing a lot of people who are interested in you, are interested in your projects, and you're finding yourself being open to more things happening in your life. So your crush sees your romance energy as jealousy. Jealousy is fear. Perfect love casts out fear. So for some of you that are in this um, situation, you may be seeing, they may be seeing that you're, you're feeling jealousy, but actually you're just feeling passionate. So for some of you, you've been sharing information, like you see that you have this person and you're like, oh, you know, I know that you are talking to this person and I don't feel like they're good for you. And so you're feeling passionate because you care about the person, but they're seeing it as jealousy because they think you're trying to stop something from happening. So be aware of how they really see the situation. So a passion message that you may hear is, I have healed because of you. So there could be, it sounds like you guys have some major energy going on in this connection. Um, for some of you, this could possibly be like a triad, that there is maybe some polyamory going on, or there's a situation where there's more than just you, but you actually know about it. <clears throat> and this person is kind of saying, hey, you know, we have a lot of relationship baggage to work on. So for your sex energy for the new year, you're really going to want to just keep healing, to start learning how to communicate in a way that your actual emotion really gets put through to the person. So the tarot insight into this is the Empress. That's excellent energy to be into. Ex uh, the Empress energy is about abundance. It's about see pregnancy, the word pregnancy, a lot of times we think about like having a baby, but you can be pregnant with an idea. It can mean bringing forth something that did not exist until you brought it forth. So for this um, upcoming year, your sexual energy, you're really going to see things happening that you wanted to have happen. You're really going to start stepping into your energy and your power to bring forth what you've actually been looking for and wanting. So the other tarot card that we have here is the reverse five of swords. Now this is about some peace. It's about things being fair and justice. So <clears throat> for some of you, you are feeling in your gut that this person is, is not in a good situation, but they see you as being jealous. So you've been giving your story, you've been giving your truth, and you want to keep doing that. Don't give up on your truth just because this person is, is perceiving, it, perceiving it incorrectly. Because it's part of your journey and in you being yourself and staying in your truth and, and being authentic to yourself, this person heals because of that. So, and it's also four minutes and 44 seconds into the, the video. So there's some 444 for those of you who use synchronicity 
to find when something is important because for some of you some of this pain that you're experiencing with this person you forgiving it helps them heal, heal as well excellent well thank you so much for letting me read for you and if you need further information on your specific connection you can follow the link to Etsy don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube and don't forget to go to the end of the video for what is in the box so this is for group two that shows the blue gem. We have your energy, how your crush sees your energy, what you might hear this, um, this upcoming year from someone in your life. And then we have two tarot cards where we can get further insight. So then your energy romantically is showing as commitment. Commitment is in the air, engagement, marriage, or an invitation to move in. <clears throat> so your energy is you are ready for something that has some longevity for it. You have the sexual energy of really connecting to people who want to be there with you and develop something that's really deep, whether this is a friends with benefits with situation where you guys just really get along, you know, or it could be a situation where you're looking at marriage and, you know, moving in together. That's what you are desiring. So the way that other people are perceiving your energy is dreams. Share your dreams with your partner so you can build them together. So you and your partner, <clears throat> some of you are not in this commitment yet. You're just kind of uh, getting to know them and you're hoping that this is what they want to and having some uh, really romantic feelings towards them. And so they're interpreting this as you dreaming with them, which can be really romantic, you know, um, and, and can give them the opportunity to really connect with you. So then something that you might hear them say is, you help me understand unconditional love. So this is an excellent place to be. Now that does unfortunately sometimes mean that they are doing something or you are doing something that they don't really like. It's a condition that they aren't happy with because of that condition though, they're learning to love you through it and you're learning to love them through it. So it's an excellent place for you to be in your sex energy for the new year. So then the tarot insight is the reverse moon. Now the reverse moon is about clarity and truth being revealed. So for some of you, you're going to have some truth revealed and that could be about to the situation that you are experiencing with the king of cups. Now the King of Cups is a great father and a husband. There is some definite commitment here in this situation between the two of you. And that's where the clarity is going to come in. So this person is, is even right now starting to understand the level of commitment that you have. And you having that level of commitment and, and announcing it to them or being open with them through that clarity with the reverse moon is allowing them to step into the role that matches what you want. So this is what you're energetically vibrating at and this is what they're starting to vibrating at. So you guys are becoming a match. So then the other tarot insight card is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant often has to do with the religious ceremonies that are traditional, often seen as a marriage card, which is very interesting because this is, once again, you are vibrating at this, and so it's bringing in these things to you. It's bringing in a commitment ceremony. It's bringing in the King of Cups, who is that fatherly or... <clears throat> uh, great husband material. You are definitely starting to align with what you have always wanted. And it's very interesting because two of these cards are major arcana cards, which means that there is some divine direction going in this. You are being led to where you need to go and how it needs to happen. So you can really just let go of the situation, <clears throat> approach it with a lightness because you don't need to do anything at all because you're just automatically flowing and you are going with the flow into the direction of everything you've always wanted. So you're doing an excellent job matching up with your primary energy and even your energy that other people are seeing you as still matches everything else. So this is an excellent, strong, healthy connection. So if you need further information on your connection with this person, you can definitely follow the link to Etsy. And then don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And then don't forget to go to the end of the video to find out what is in the box. 
So this is for the third group that shows the little red wizard. It's your energy, how your crush sees your energy, what you might hear this year. And then we have two tarot cards that are just giving some further insight <clears throat> into the connection. So your sex energy for this upcoming year is coming up as connection. Finding ways to connect, make, connect makes it easier to keep the connection over time. So the sooner you are able to connect with your person in, in your relationship or your um, connection with them, the deeper you're able to develop that over time. So right now you are looking for connection and what your crush sees your energy as is kissing. Kissing your partner is a way to connect on a soul level. So this person is really seeing your energy as a match for them. <clears throat> They're really feeling like they want to be intimate with you. They see you as somebody who they want to kiss you. So then something you may hear is, I want a whole day alone with you. So that really fits. They want that intimacy. You want a connection. There's kissing. You guys are really on the same page in this relationship. So then the tarot insight is showing up as the reverse world card. So the reverse world card is about some lessons that are unfinished. So in this connection with this person, there is a situation, there, there's something that you have always felt with this, with all of your relationships and all of your connections. Like, for instance, um, <clears throat> oh, everybody who I've ever been with has cheated. Or everybody who I've ever been with has always not had any money. They've always been lazy. Like, you have some unfinished business and you have to learn a different lesson. So you've been driving your car down this same street and you have to make a turn. You have to do something different where you're always going to get the same things with this. So right now, this has some newness to it. And like just when you want to spend a whole day alone with somebody, you're really wanting to just connect with them and see who they are. So they're saying, there is a feeling of a, a new relationship energy here, but you're really going to want to be cognizant of how that fits in your past patterns and are you doing things different this time with the newness of this relationship. So then the other card is showing up as the reverse three of pentacles. The reverse three of pentacles is about no teamwork. So for some of you, you're experiencing the newness of this relationship and you're really having a great time and things are going really well for you, but you are carrying all of the weight in the relationship. You are doing all of the work. And then when you turn around and you say, okay, well now I'm ready to give, you know, to receive you're finding that the situations, and this is where some of you, this is that repeat lesson. It's the repeat lesson of don't let people take advantage of you. Really be cognizant of how much they are contributing to the situation as well. <clears throat> so thank you so much for letting me read for you. And if you need a custom reading that is just about you and your partner, you can definitely follow the link to Etsy. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And now it is time for what is in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? And what is in the box is the bow and arrow. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting me read for you. And I look forward to reading for you again.